Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi and let's take you through all the top stories of the day. After the government confirmed a clash on December 9th between India and Chinese soldiers at the border in Arunachal Pradesh. A video from 2021 showing Indian and Chinese soldiers in a fierce fight along the line of actual control in Arunachal has gone viral. The video shows a concerted effort by Chinese soldiers to grab land. Indian soldiers violently clash with and beat up Chinese soldiers who try to cross over. In fact, Indian soldiers are seen forcing the Chinese soldiers towards their pushback. <laughs> And 18 opposition parties, including the Ahmadmi Party and uh, the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, attended a strategy meeting called by the Congress President Malkarjun Kharge and later walked out in sync over the government's refusal to discuss the India-China clashes in the parliament. While the TMC skipped Mr. Kharge's meeting, they later participated in a walkout along with the rest of the opposition as they protested the chair's refusal to allow a discussion on the Tawang clashes. Sonia Gandhi led the Congress MPs out of the Lok Sabha. We have given a small statement about China. और बाकी जो चर्चा उन्होंने मांगा है उसके लिए हम चर्चा के लिए तैयार हैं। सदन नहीं चलेंगे अगर आज स्ट्रेटजी मीटिंग भी ऑपरेशन के साथ। नहीं वो तो सदन अभी तक तो चल रहा है मुझे लगता है आगे भी वो चलाने देंगे यही मैं आशा करता हूँ। हमने जो नोटिस कल भी दी थी और आज भी दी है कि चाइनीज इसके बारे में हम डिटेल चर्चा इस सदन में चाहते हैं और इसीलिए हम पहले से हमारी कोशिश रही है कि हमको पूरी जानकारी मिले और देश के लोगों को भी जानकारी हो कि वहाँ की एक्चुअल स्थिति क्या है भारत का इंपोर्ट बढ़ा है 97 बिलियन डॉलर चीन के साथ हमारा व्यापार बढ़ा है कम नहीं हुआ इंपोर्ट 31 प्रतिशत बढ़ा है हमारी सीमा की सुरक्षा को लेके भारत की सरकार क्या कर रही है एंड फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन हैज टेकन ऑन टीएमसीज मवा मोइत्रा हु हैड टेकन अ जाइब एट द रूलिंग गवर्नमेंट एंड बीजेपी ऑन देयर यूज ऑफ द वर्ड पप्पू दिस गवर्नमेंट हैज अस बिलीव एवरी फेब्रुअरी दैट दिस कंट्रीज इकॉनमी इज गोइंग ग्रेट गन्स we are the fastest growing, most efficient global player. Everyone is getting employment. We are getting gas cylinders. We are getting electricity. This year has already seen more people giving up Indian citizenship than any single given year. 
high net worth individuals are willing to pay up to a million dollars to get citizenship of Portugal, of St. Kitts, of Greece. Is this the sign of a healthy economic environment, of a healthy tax environment? Who's the papu now? <coughs> NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. The manufacturing sector contracted 5.6%. Manufacturing is still the biggest generator of jobs. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the index of industrial production have recorded negative growth rates. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. Honorable Member Mahua Moitra said about where one should find Papu, who's the Papu, where's the Papu, and so on. Ah, Actually, either West Bengal in the... Sorry? So, all the fundamental, macroeconomic fundamentals being questioned. There was this question of where is the Papu, who's the Papu, who's the Papu. Actually, if only, if only, Honorable Member looks back into her own, own backyard, she'll find Papu in West Bengal. So there's no doubt where there are wonderful schemes which can benefit common people, West Bengal sits over it, doesn't distribute it, you, you don't need to search anywhere else for Papu. But even worse, sir, even worse is this point. Matches kiske hat mein hai? हमारे हाथ में हमारे हाथ में जब माचिस थी हमने उज्वला दिया हमने उजाला दिया हमने पीएम किसान दिया हमने स्वच्छ भारत अभियान चलाए जब आपके हाथ में आया माचिस आर्सन हुआ लूटिंग हुआ रेप हुआ हमारे कार्यकर्ता के घर जला दिया और ऊपर से और ऊपर से मंत्री एमओएस मुरलीधरन उनके गाड़ी के ऊपर इतना अटैक हुआ इतना अटैक हुआ सेंट्रल मंत्री तक सेफ नहीं था पोस्ट इलेक्शन and Home Minister met Karnataka Chief Minister Bumai and Maharashtra Chief Minister Shinde at the Parliament Library amid a flare up of the border dispute that dates back to 1957. Amit Shah has said that chief ministers have agreed not to press their claims in the decades-long state border dispute till the Supreme Court decision on the matter. When the Supreme Court has not come to this matter, no state of the state has not come to this matter, no state of the state has not come to this matter, no state of the state has not come to दोनों राज्यों के मिलाकर दोनों ओर से तीन तीन छह मंत्री बैठेंगे और इस पर डिटेल नीचे तक परकोलेशन किस प्रकार से हो इसकी चिंता और चर्चा करेंगे Karnataka and Maharashtra Chief Ministers met Union Home Minister Amit Shah today. The meeting went on for half an hour. After that, the Union Home Minister came out and addressed the media and he announced that three big decisions have been taken in this meeting. First was that it is a matter which needs to be solved constitutionally. It cannot be solved on road through protest. So he appealed to people uh, in both the states to, you know, stay calm and the matter would be decided by the Supreme Court. Until then, both the states cannot have have any kind of claim on on those villages which are being claimed by both the states uh, either by uh, and belgavi is one of them uh, the karnataka and maharashtra the status quo will rem remain uh, the second big decision was that uh, from both the states, three uh, ministers would be uh, coming together, three from Karnataka and three from Maharashtra. And this committee would look into each and every aspect to the last detail, to the ground detail. And then that matter would be discussed between them. The third big decision was and a senior IPS officer would be deputed because due to this, there were some clashes reported from both the states. 
Uh, so the law and order was a big issue and due to which some people who were traveling from Maharashtra to Karnataka or from Karnataka to Maharashtra were facing some problems and even trader community was facing some problem. So this IPS officer, the senior IPS officer with, which would be appointed would be looking into the law and order issue concerning these two states so that traders and the travelers do not face any kind of problem. And the third big uh, decision uh, which was taken in this meeting was that all those Twitter handles which were tweeting about what kind of a situation is there on the ground and how the law and order situation is deteriorating, those fake Twitter handles would be dealt as per law, a FIR would be registered. This is the big statement coming out of this meeting. In fact, the Union Home Minister also stated that some Twitter handles you know, were uh, made in the name of some ministers also and they were tweeting some fake information. So now he has given a go-ahead that both the states should lodge complaints, should lodge FIRs against those Twitter handles and take, um, uh, take the decision to deal with them legally. So these are few three four aspects which came out of this meeting and he also appealed to the opposition to keep calm he said this matter needs to be dealt constitutionally and he as a home minister is appealing to the uh, to the opposition parties in both the states that politically uh, you know they should not uh, color this situation which is which is a very volatile situation as far as these two states are concerned so even the political parties should keep calm and wait for the supreme court decision in new delhi with camera person kanan patra this is neeta sharma reporting for ndtv and bharat rashtra samiti brs office has been inaugurated in delhi Along with Telangana Chief Minister and Party Chief K. Chandrasekhar Rao, his daughter and state legislator Kavita, um, others who were present included Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav, JDS leader H.T. Kumaraswamy and others who participated in the inauguration ceremony of BRS office in Delhi. This comes a day after Election Commission approved the change of name of Telangana Rashtra Samiti to Bharat Rashtra Samiti, the new name being symbolic of K. Chandrasekhar Rao's national ambitions.